friends in instrumentation pressure transmitter level transmitters temperature transmitters flow transmitters are very important any parameter is measured by these and through this measurement the controlling in instrumentation is also possible these transmitters have a range of measurement the range of the transmitter defines the limits of the transmitter's measurements this means that how high and low values can the transmitter accurately measure the transmitter range is defined by two components the first is upper range limit which also known as url the url represents the maximum measurement limit of the transmitter the transmitter cannot measure values higher than this and second is lower range limit which is also called lrl LRL represents the minimum measurement limit of the transmitter. Values lower than this cannot be measured by the transmitter. LRL to URL is also called maximum range or maximum calibration range. One important point you have to keep in mind is between LRL and URL we can provide range to the transmitter according to our applications. These include LRV and URV these are the values on which we prepare any transmitter for measurement first of all let's understand LRV and URV and how you will know about these values for example suppose the range of a transmitter is 0 bars to 100 bars so in this LRV is 0 bar and URV is 100 bar Look friends the value from which the range starts is LRV and the value at which the range ends is URV like in minus 5000 mmwc to plus 5000 mmwc LRV is minus 5000 mmwc and plus 5000 mmwc is URV you can also change LRV and URV but the lower range limit lrl and the upper range limit url you cannot change them in the instrumentation lrv and urv are also called transmitter range or transmitter calibration range lrv means lower range value and urv means upper range value let's understand it further LRV is the minimum point of transmitter's range where the transmitter can make accurate measurements the transmitter will not give reliable readings on measurements lower than LRV for example suppose a pressure transmitter range is 0200 bar the LRV will be 0 bar meaning readings below 0 bar will not be accurate whereas the URV is the maximum point of the transmitter's range where the transmitter can make accurate measurements the transmitter will not give reliable readings on measurements above the URV let us understand with same example if the range is 0 to 100 bar then URV will be 100 bar that means readings taken more than 100 bar will not be accurate If LRV and URV are not selected correctly, measurements may be inaccurate and system performance may be affected. Look friends. According to these LRV and URV, the transmitter provides 4 to 20 milliamps output. At LRV, the output of transmitter is 4 milliamps. and at urv the output of transmitter is 20 milliamps how 4 to 20 milliamps signal is received according to the range let's discuss it we have a very simple method to understand this look friends the output on lrv and urv will be respectively 4 milliamps and 20 milliamps Now take ranges between LRV and URV 4 8 12 and 16 milliamps There is a very easy trick for this 
because the signal is 4 to 20 milliamperes. Therefore, whatever the total range is, you will divide it by 4. Like, 0 to 20 bar, its total range is 20 bars. One more concept you should keep in mind, this total range is called, span. Total range 20, is to divide by 4. This will come, 5. Now this 5, will be added to the previous reading. At 4 milliamperes, it was 0 bar. So, it will be 5 bars at, 8 milliamperes. Now to calculate at 12 milliamperes, again add 5, to the previous readings. This will come, 10 bars. Similarly, to calculate 16 milliamperes, again add 5 to the previous reading. So, this will come, 15 bar. Let's take one more range. Minus 5000 mmwc to plus 5000 mmwc. For this, we will calculate. Its LRV is, minus 5000 mmwc. So, at minus 5000 mmwc, the transmitter output will be, 4 milliamperes. And, at plus 5000 mmwc, the transmitter output will be, 20 milliamperes. Now, from minus 5000 mmwc to plus 5000 mmwc, the total range will be. Here you need to remember a small formula. Total range equals URV minus LRV. So, it will come, 10,000 mmwc. Now, divide 10,000 mmwc by, 4. This will come, 2,500 mmwc. Now, to calculate at, 8 milliamperes. In minus 5000 mmwc, 2500 mmwc will be added. Because, minus 5000 mmwc, was at 4 milliamperes. So, this will come, minus 2500 mmwc. To calculate at 12 milliamperes, again add 2500 mmwc to the, previous one. So, this will come, minus 2500 mmwc, plus 2500 mmwc, means, 0, similarly, to calculate at, 16 milliamperes. Again, add 2500 mmwc to the, previous one, means, 0 plus 2500 mmwc, this will come, 2500 mmwc. One more important point, you should note down, when the range of the transmitter is from, negative to positive, and, negative, and positive have the same values. Like, minus 5000 mmwc to plus 5000 mmwc, or, minus 10000 mmwc to plus 10000 mmwc. In this, at zero, you will get, 12 milliamperes. But if, the range of the transmitter is, minus 4000 mmwc to plus 6000 mmwc. Then at zero, you will not get 12 milliamperes. Because, there is a negative range. But, the values on both sides, are not the same. So now, you reply friends. For, minus 4000 mmwc to plus 6000 mmwc range. At which value, you will get 12 milliamperes.